Right, good evening, students. Shall we start? Yes, number of students, students. Eh? What happened? For this? Nearly 21 students in this group. Eh? Right, anyway. Uh, first of all, uh, students, listen to me. I look at your information system in all databases. Uh, we'll hope that uh, everyone complete on these all the sections. Today we will hope to complete the system beginning balance. No, is it correct? No, system beginning balance. Before the system beginning balance, all students should ensure that you have completed on this section under the accounting section and account list option. Look at the account list, the chart of account. You have to be completed on all uh, element of accounts, like your uh, asset type account, liability type account, equity, income, cost of sales, expenses. Only I created a few expenses and other income and other expenses. You have more than that account especially in your uh, assets and expense account. Is it correct by all? Right. Now, uh, uh, click on here, uh, uh, card file, card file. In the card list, there are two types of cards, customer cards, only I have uh, four uh, customers, and you have more than five, six customers, and uh, uh, nearly six suppliers. Is it there? How many customers and suppliers? Six and six, or so six and seven. Click or click on here. In the customers, it will display the number of items. How many customers? 12 customers. No. Not 12. Supply 7. Supply 7 customers. 5. 5 customers and uh, 7 suppliers. And uh, click on your inventory section and uh, item. Inventory item. How many inventory item you have? I have 12, only 12 items. I think you have more than 20 items, no? Look at it in here, found. Refer to your tutorial in all sections. Without complete this master file, you are not in the positions to enter the beginning balances. And each and every section, including customer, supplier, inventory, and general. Now we are ready to insert the system beginning balances. Okay, agreed by all. Now uh, we start the uh, new tutorial. System opening balance tutorial.
all in this tutorial uploaded to your LMS. In this tutorial. Subcricket private limited, file balance and the master file begin in detail. Get on this tutorial. Right. Is it okay? Right. Shall we start? Uh, start from the uh, subsidiary ledger beginning balances. First, you go to the the customer beginning balances uh, given on the asset first April 23. That means your company financially a starting date. And also convert the system to the from the existing system to new. Both same. Both same in the sense financial period beginning date and the conversion date same. Right. One by one. In the customer balance. So then the first customer in size school. So the customer outstanding pre invoices are there. The date of outstanding, the outstanding PO number and the amount included in VAT and get the total amount from this customer. The basic detail. Look at here. The first invoice outstanding from January, February, last one March. Then system balances are brought forward to the month of April. At this point, right. Now, not down the uh, way you insert on your system balances. Right. First, customer beginning balances. Go to the setup option. Setup. Balances under the setup, balances and select the customer balances. Customer balances. Right. Click on customer balances. Then display the existing customer list. From this list, select the correct customer. Then get the customer detail on here, King Size School. Right? King Size School. Right. Then, 
in this application form, the beginning application form, click on add save. If this is a new cell, you should use the cell window for the command center. Okay. The activate on the customer detail. Click on tab button. Tab. Okay. Then display the customer default setting. One person, seven day, net queue in 30 days, one month. If you know the outstanding invoice number, add the invoice number here. And set the date, 2023. The, normally the live system activated by the today. Eh? Change on the date by uh, January a date at 10. January 2023. Then given the PO number 1234. Okay. Shouldn't so hear memo pre conversion sale. Pre conversion means before the our financial system that transaction amount be converted to the system. So it is called the beginning. Pre-conversion. And the total including tax, 5,000. Given on 5,000. Now tax component, 762. Got this point? At the system beginning balance for customers. Record. And now record the 5000s to King Size School. Similarly, record on the second one at sale. OK. Click on tab. Now look at here. Now 5000 activated. Automatically take on the invoice 002 to something. You can edit it. You can modify it. Now uh, take on the previous day, 23 February, fifth. the PO number from customer 2345. This is also the pre-conversion sale, including the tax. 6000 tax component 950 now in the next transaction updated by the the king size school 5000 plus 6000 11000 record now look at the 11000 updated at this point Again, at sale. Okay. Change the period date March second. PO number seven eight nine one. Four thousand, including tax. Tax mean when sales taxes six hundred and ten. A record. Then King's High School. The total invoice outstanding for the first April twenty three by fifteen thousand. Understood. Right. Then select on here second customer, Queen's Girls College. Now updated in the 
किंग साइज को क्विंस गर्ल्स कॉलेज यूज कस्टमर सीरो अमाउंट नो आउटस्टैंडिंग द सेम प्रोसीजर एक्सेल फॉर क्विंस गर्ल्स कॉलेज फर्स्ट इनवॉइस आउटस्टैंड इन नॉन फेब्रुवारी 12 चेंज या फेब्रुवारी कस्टमर पी ओ नाम आउटस्टैंडिंग बाय इनवॉइस फोर थाउजेंड नाउ ऑल आउटस्टैंडिंग रिकॉर्डेड तो दाउ नाउ अवर सिस्टम में एस बिगिनिंग रिकॉर्ड ओके एक्सेल फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेम मंथ your number and total amount including on tax 7000 correctly you have to be set on the vat eh? then automatically at the vat combo and this customer liable for paying on vat have a card last one at sale as a new sale date on march 8 all outstanding sir before the first april eh? Last one amount outstanding on ten thousand. Right, record. Then second customer compare with your total amount twenty one thousand. Right, right. Third one. I come continue. Select the next one. Wisdom International Institute. Use customer. Use customer. Right. Continue. Go to the Excel.
So we saw the the path, the way you enter the transaction. We stop the window. Otherwise. Next, uh, the tutorial on the next section, supply beginning balances. Right, click on, look at a card option. So already we search the suppliers. These are my suppliers. Right? Now, Click on setup. <laughs> Go to the setup option again. Under the setup, balances, supplier balances. Supplier balances. Click on supplier balances. The first supplier, Kanaj Jaya Duriya Private Limited. Yeah, at purchase. Okay. Sanat Jaya Tumuriya. Date of outstanding by January 15, 23. Supply side, yeah? supply side, supply PO number means uh, 
invoice. Equal to and pre. Pre conversion purchase and invoice outstanding by six thousand. Input tax nine hundred fifty. Input tax. Record. Click on at purchase again. Change the date, February 10. Supply invoice number three five four five. Outstanding on six thousand. Record. Update the two outstanding. Three conversion purchase. Again, okay. as purchase, uh, March 12. Seven eight nine one. Supply goes number. And outstanding on ten thousand. Record. Click on supply summary. Yeah, the separate function for supply summary. Supply summary. Connect to year 22,000 with total on 22,000. Right, second one. Company name XY Government Private Limited. At sale. At purchase. At purchase. Channel Thank God. Continue the transmission.
Third one, Ashok Company. Ashok Company. Ashok Company outstanding on pre invoices 15,000, Complete the show company. For the next one, Kumara Picker. Kumara Picker. Complete outstanding invoices from Kumar Jigar.
by next one Sagin spot Sagin spot Go to that purchase Green was is outstanding on Sagin spot And complete the Mahari River and uh, uh, Prime Sword Private Limited. I don't know if these uh, suppliers complete on you.
complete the balance to suppliers and click on uh, supplier summary now display all custom supplier outstanding the total amount total amount and if you want to look at the individual outstanding amount by the report go to the accounts go to the transaction journal click on your purchase purchase all pre conversion purchases are displayed Uh, student, uh, uh, one student asked a question uh, uh, in the system, uh, is it possible to run on the age analysis report? Can uh, to click on your reporting section under the main window, reports, accounts. Now you click on your sales. Age in summary, age in detail, reconciliation summary. The individual you can run will take one age in summary, then display. You can customize your detail from here from the 2023. Uh, January, no? January. Oh, first step, we will take on first step. Zero to 30 days, one month. 31 to 60 days, one to two months. Two to three months, more than three months. Understood. There are different reports uh, you can generate. And look at another. A report by here age detail the age detail report the individual age age means the customer age will be calculated based on the invoice outstanding look at here reconciliation summary Should I look at here? Very important point in the year. Out under the total to identify this uh, accounting the theory. Actually, here 55,000 in the total. The amount on account receivable ledger still has a zero balance. Do you understand? Then the difference 55,000. According to my case, you are one different. Because of that, the system still only be entered on the customers, not entered by our general ledger. After entering on general ledger, the account receivable ledger, in my case, may be having a 55,000 or something, then difference will come zero. You got this my point? You got this my point? Yes or no? Right. There are two ledgers now. Look at this uh, whiteboard. The first we call uh, GA. Well, this is your GA. General ledger. Or nominal ledger. Under the general ledger or nominal ledger, 
account receivable control account like this scenario in the beginning no? account receivable control we are the data ledger ar ledger in the separately now we have uh, one to five customers right one to five customers in my case from the individual person it is you are in the one side and the second one because I entered on only three customers no? so in my case what you are not correct is what you are not correct is it correct is it correct right. 70,000 you understand this the basic account is real right 70,000 in the data ledger still we updated on my AR ledger. But in the first, what do you call the system implementation, system beginning balance, still this accounts for the CEO amount. For this one. Not automatically taken on this invoice just to the GA. In the beginning. So in the first time, we have to be entered 70,000 here. Now you turn to the, your tutorial in the front page. First page. In this tutorial. No, no, no. In the same tutorial. Your TV. Your TV. Now you compare your TV. The AR control account. How much? Is it equal to this amount? No? Mm. Look at this logic. Actually, the, the fundamental principles of accounting. This still, look, this is very carefully. Until the, in most of the system, in the first time, the mapping part, actually called integration part, mapping part, the manual you have to be entered more places. Then after the system will take the transaction, they will turn to it separately. By debit, debit some accounts and credit to some accounts. Still, this account in your case, 70,000 only updated here. Then the GL, your trial balance, got to be updated in 70,000. Your account is here. Then, net of this amount, I display the out of balance amount here. What is my name? Now you run the separate report in the in the uh, uh, purchase. Clause, click on your purchases. Purchases. Go to the reconciliation. Uh, the same reports are there. In the first one, each payable summary, my case 122,000. What's your amount? Suppliers, 172. 172. Okay. Then, Go to the reconciliation detail, display, my case, 122,000, you have 172 or something. Look at the out of balance in this uh, total amount and you compare your trial balance in the front page trade creditors trade creditors turn to your tv 172 is it there tv again how much 
All the related reports are there. Right. Now, uh, we'll turn to the third section, inventory section. Inventory section. Students, before insert the balances, you have to be ensured that all inventory items are there, right? Otherwise, you can't enter the total amount. Don't compare it with my one. Actually, every week I teach more than three, four classes. Five days a week ago. The thing my accounts are not easy to tell. Right. Is it okay? All accounts are there? Oh, uh, not accounts, all items are there. Is it okay? Right. With your confirmation, we will turn to the inventory beginning. Right. Start from here. This is the, the source document. Now you turn to the inventory beginning. Go to the inventory section. Adjust inventory, the separate section. Adjust inventory. Click on adjust inventory. Okay, brother. Adjust inventory. Then IJ mean inventory journal 0001. Change the date, your period 23, first day period. Correct now. Right. I give the memo reconversion in inventory or inventory beginning. We'll put inventory beginning. Inventory beginning balance. Right. The blank detail, blank form no? Click on item number. Very carefully. Click on tab. Right? Now, you have all the items. Product detail. Handle. I didn't create the handle one, no? But you select here. Ah, quantity on hand are not applied because repair item, no? A repair item. Cost price already we entered in the cost price. Right? Turn to the next page. 
I didn't create the shoe item, no. Do you have a shoe item, no? Shoe item is there, no? Shoes? Student, look at here. Uh, uh, turn to the uh, 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 fourth section, back section. Ah, yeah, shoe item, Maria, in my case. Few, not all few items. Puma cricket shoe. Click on here. Puma, you have to be entered all. Puma cricket shoe. Select used item. Little bit different by the others. Right. Quantity on hand 70. It's given on the tutorial. Opening quantity. Unit cost. 2500. Look at here. Automatically calculate the amount 175,000. Now you integrate it to here yeah, integration. Your general ledger, general inventory. Okay, get a value in it. Click use account. Next. Complete the balance. Adidas Pikachu. Adidas Pikachu. Only quantity on hand available in the items, eh? not in the service item. Item sales. Okay, right, complete. Balance two items Adidas cricket shoe and Nike cricket shoe. Continue on hand 50 and 30. Student, look at here, handle item, RP cord handle. Select the RP cord handle. No quantity on hand. But it given on uh, cost per item. Cost per item, 400. Cost per item. Then integrate it to the inventory. No amount are updated because of the no quantity on that repair item. Likewise, there's another item called. Uh, uh, blade item, a uh, willow wood blade, no quantity on hand, quantity on hand not applicable because the repair item, uh, uh, item price 500, Repair item, but other items having a quantity on hand, physical quantity. Sorry. Next, uh, we got bad, good record bad, 20 quantity. 1500 integrated to the your inventory
Right, complete the balance. Still zero item, man. Eh? Quantity on land, zero item, still. Not recording this uh, opening. One cricket bag. Good one cricket bag. Uh, ten item. 2,800. The individual inventory item have to be insert by quantity on hand and unit cost and integrated to the general inventory item. General inventory item. Item you have to be create first. Don't be Record the name, don't be recorded. Wait, complete the list. Thank you. 
Correctly select the item and insert the opening. System beginning balances you can't delete. If you record it on the current section, it is actually, then again you have to create a new journal entry, the inventory beginning. It's actually like a, like a journal entry. Inventory journal.
more than uh, 20 items are there separately you entered the the individual items quantity on hand unit cost and amount automatically taken here and integrated to the relevant inventory general inventory in the repair item uh, no quantity on hand in the individual sections uh, by the uh, uh, sport item bag item given in the sub total before insert the uh, inventory beginning or whatever the item that have to be complete the master file without the master file you can't enter the beginning I 
The problem is that uh, you are not complete the inventory item. That's the reason. Then you have to be record a, a two journal entry. For one for the completed item, or else you com, com, cancel out this journal entry and go for the first inventory item. I told you before we start the, the beginning balances, every item should be completed. Otherwise, create the suspense. What shall we do? Con con continue the, the sessions uh, with the difference. Later you insert the all items and complete the beginning. Otherwise you have to be cancel here, set the item and insert the beginning. You decide which option you are going to use. Anyway, no harmful to me because only I get the item, less items. So. Right, uh, any, anyone completed the old item? No? Complete. Right. Complete or no? Right. Then click on record. I don't know. You decide. Right. Then click on record. <laughs> I, I told in the beginning. Right. Record. Then after that you can't delete or do something, right? Now you click on your journal, student. Click on journal, right? Now you compare this inventory beginning. In my case, two hundred and thirty-three thousand. The one different, no? Definitely. What's your amount? Please give the correct amount, otherwise, create the suspense. In your case, no, definitely I have made the suspense. No matter, I am not earning the mark. Right, so in your case, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, 500 and 555, 250, 250. How many students get this answer? One, two, only you. Two. Two students got this answer. They also get it. Right. Then they pick up. Right. Then turn to your prime balance. Turn to your prime balance. And look at your prime balance. TB, the inventory amount. Inventory control account. How much? How much? Inventory control account. Turn to the uh, first page. In the first page, uh, in my case, two five hundred and fifty-five, two hundred. No, fifty rupees difference. So no, I think you want. In the prime balance 200, here 250, 50 rupees less. 
Now also you got the debit, debit table, no? Or credit table. Customer or supplier? Supplier, no? Supplier, no? The credit, in the prior, can be your detail. System display, under the 70, 2000. System display, 172,000, no? But tutorial trial balance, 152,000. Here net difference, 20,000. We love that all I count, and right? <laughs> Then, net of this is 50,000 to here, 19,900. Is a net difference, no? In the credit. What shall we do? Tell me. You are accountant? Auditors? Go to their trial balance. Reduce the one item from this. What is going on? Their trial balance is equal. Turn to your trial balance. Bank loan is here. In the credit side. And yes, better, better. The better is you are add on this one to share capital. Oh, ah, here is total amount also. Right? No, yes, this total amount. Actually, this total right. Uh, uh, at the moment, you delete this, uh, reduce this amount from this total amount. So again, uh, uh, deduct that. Uh, this is like a uh, more adjustment. Later we will uh, get on the account to historical account. Right. Clause. Cancel. Okay. Yes. Any question? Huh? Anything in the system will in the system will in computer state. But the information you enter, the computer will be in state. This is not like a human being. I think we have done a lot of uh, modification, editing part. Right. That part is your, your side, you have to be at and elevated, modified. Is it agreed by your? Select in, in uh, today I'll be the time. Let's uh, start the completion by the uh, nominal ledger opening balance given you to the practice. Practice and complete your data. Right. Uh, so, we will turn to the last section in the front page. Uh, shouldn't uh, in, in, in practically, you have to be complete first subsidiary ledgers. Listen me. Listen me. First, you complete the subsidiary ledgers, customer, supplier, and inventory subsidiary ledger, and do the uh, required modification before go to your DB. 
because TB trial balance is the last output report. Why? So, entered on the trial balance beginning. Go to the again setup. Setup. Balances. Account open in balances. Account open in balances. Click on account open in balances. Student, before enter these balances, to ensure that this paragraph, your, listen very carefully, your system conversion date equals to the your financial year beginning date. Student, listen to me, very important point here. In the 1st April 23, is your system conversion date and also your financial period beginning date. You know that financial year beginning date, only balances are actively brought forward by the balance sheet. There are five types of accounts now. Asset, liability, equity, income and expense. In the 31st March 23, in the last financial period, income and expense account are transferred to the your profit and loss account. And balance sheet item are brought forward to the next period. Agreed by all now? Right. Then, your conversion day and your financial period start in the same day. Only display the your balance sheet right Got this my point? Look at here, wait. When I go to the here, further explain, in my accounts, list of accounts, asset, liability, equity. This account having a broad forward, carried down and broad forward balance. This income, cost of sales, expense, other income, other expenses are transferred to the your last date of financial year. These balances are transferred to your profit and loss account. Agreed? By all, then these balances are brought forward to the next period. But one thing, your conversion date and your financial period start date may be different. If you are seeing that, your financial period start on 1st April. But your system converted down may be 1st July. Understand very carefully. Then these balances you have to be entered by both balance sheet and PNB. Got this point? Because of that, PNL balances including sales, purchase, income, expenses, accounts also updated for the month of April, May, June, then the July month brought forward it on even in the PNL item. Understood my point? By all? Now this opening DB only having a balance sheet item. Look at here. No one PNL item. Yeah, actually, we didn't create the historical account. Eh? Look at here. In, in, in the, you turn to your tutorial, equity section, share capital is there. Okay. Owner's drawing, not in, uh, actually, in my case, you are having owner's drawing. Yes. Retail earning is there. Current earning is there. No. 
and historical balances are there. Yes or no? Don't know, you decide. You are unhappy. Yes? Then you can enter this 47 million. You are not create the historical account, historical balances, historical means brought forward from the previous years. At this point, this 47 million, then you can add on here. But you are, I, I didn't create this historical account. So I add this historical account to my share capital. Credit amount though? Got this my point. Small accounting adjustment. Or add to the my retain earning account. Correct. Okay? Right. Start from beginning. Right. Go to the only active in the detail account. Student, there are three types of accounts now. Header account, detail account, detail check account. Only here activated detail account and detail check account. Understood? Right. Land and improvement cost 50 million add on 50 million. Right. Carefully you add the amount in the TV. Then amortization land and improvement in the TV credit now. Trial balance 3. You given here, here one line no? minus minus 5 million. Five million. Building net cost 35 million five hundred. Right, yeah, yeah. I'll talk. Yeah, one. Uh, officers have to take their vehicle, so I'm going to remove the my one. Oh, I bet the family called her on the road. Thank you. 
Right? Uh, entered on the accumulator depreciation 2.5 million with minus. Uh, then no amounts at other account. The inventory. Uh, now you entered. Actually, you have another more accounts in the uh, the balance sheet in the asset account. Uh, building, furniture, furniture accumulator, showroom, accumulator, ground equipment, accumulator. Only I have few accounts and inventory accounts, uh, 555 and 250. I shall know demo inventory in my case. Debtors, 70,000. A deposit paid. And uh, provision for doubtful debtors, 3,550 with minus. And bank loan account, trade creditors, uh, hundred and seventy two thousand. These are the important account. Eh? No amount in VAT collected and VAT paid beginning. Uh, Accounts payable accrual account 12,000. AP accruals. And voluntary withholding payable in this account 1,000. And payroll accruals. 15,000 pay payable, EPF payable, pay, and pay payable, 7,000 and 3,500. Yes, no, no, no. No, no, no. Only put the minus in the asset. You get it? In the asset, debit no. Then the accumulated account credit, then put the minus. The liability account and equity account uh, in the normal way. The already in the credit, no? So that here, given in the uh, here equation, remember enter all balances as positive number unless the balances really was negative. Then after enter all, fifty million in the share capital. Okay. Then take the uh, different. Different in my case, twenty eight million. You want different? My different twenty eight million directly are allocated to the my retain earning. Actually, this is wrong because there are some mistakes. No mistake in the sense you are the uh, subsidiary ledgers and the control accounts not equal. 
until to complete by the master file beginning so you can enter the gl general ledger beginning now i entered here 28 million 542250 then look at here my case file balance zero Nineteen thousand nine fifty is there in the difference. You can do it that way. You click on here, click it to prepare a new account, and first, then again you open this opening, and again you enter the bank loan. So click OK. Click OK. Then go to account. Set on the new account. Student, sometimes when you miss the one account, uh, one student having a mistakenly not created by the under the liability bank loan account. For the moment, you click OK. Right? Click OK. Then go to the accounts, list of accounts, go to the liability, create the new account. Then again, after create this account, go to the setup, beginning, account beginning. Again, you can edit it.
The student are in, in the Trial balance application in the down you read it. The amount to be left to be allocated. Different. Okay, different that you know uh retain on any town that they have it, destroy the legal damage. Until to get the zero on this balance, you have to be what do you call it? Clear your trial balance. Before when you come to the, your mid exam, you have to be complete your trial balance and the, your balance sheet. Okay? When I click on reports, accounts, in the accounting section, trial balance. Accounting section, trial balance. Display your trial balance. Which month? Month of April. How number of accounts? Year to date debit, year to date credit. Now look at here. Uh, uh, if we given on the minus amount, the already trial balance display like a debit credit. And also you can. Uh, uh, Run your balance sheet. Go to the balance sheet, standard balance sheet. Display. In the first day, as of 1st April 23, now you will get your balance sheet. All accounts when you updated the balances, you display the balance. No balances in the profit and loss account.
Student, this report you can send to the Excel or whatever the PDF or something. Look at here. Click on here. Send to Excel. You can email that. Yeah, your Excel file. But you can't take this uh, Excel file out to the, your <laughs> computer because of the cloud DRP, you know. You can't save. You can't save when you can get a copy. Just only a system will indicate the Excel report. Okay, here and there will Right. Now you take the small break uh, and uh, uh, come to the class again. Then uh, in the class you have practiced the, the balance part. Practicing in the sense, what are the, the questions you have in that, and what are the, the problems? Everything you clear from this uh, the balance 30 minutes. And next week we have to be start your mid exam. Right.